We've all needed a little money in emergencies, and we've been told to never borrow money or red paint will be splashed on our walls. But did you know that legal arlongs exist? They're called licensed money lenders. But what are they, and how are they different from banks? There are actual companies out there that make money by legally lending cash to other people from their own earnings at an interest. There's more than 2,000 over licensed operators in Malaysia because need to have the financial capability as well. From my understanding, they need to have a 2 million paid out capital to actually apply for the license. And licensed money lenders are regulated by the Money Lenders Act 1951. They include a cap on how much they're allowed to lend out, fixed interest rates, and guidelines on how they run their business. Basically, the law is pretty strict about how these guys operate so that they don't harass people like our do. But how do you know that they're the real deal? Legal money lenders need a license to operate. That's why they're called licensed money lenders. And can't have a criminal record or be bankrupt. You can even look up the company's registration number on a Ministry of Urban Wellbeing, Housing and Local Government's website. If the company's name is in there, you might want to stay away from them. So you've looked them up and confirmed that they're legit. How do the loans work? All loans work the same way, whether from money lenders or a bank. And when you pay them back, they earn profit through interest rates. Licensed money lenders are only allowed to charge interest between 12 to 18% annually, depending on whether security, aka giving up something valuable you have as a deposit, for the loan is given or not. They do accept handphone or even bigger item like the car itself or the house itself. Banks, however, have different interest rates ranging from 3 to 18% and a deposit or a down payment, depending on what the money is used for, how much you borrow, and how you want to pay it back, usually through a tenure. Sometimes, banks can choose to lower interest rates or extend tenures to help the public. During COVID-19's movement control order, Bank Negara Malaysia allowed people and businesses to postpone loan repayments by six months. This was especially helpful to people who weren't able to earn money by working from home. So, in what cases should you use a licensed money lender over banks? Money lenders don't usually give out loans above 10,000 ringgit, but they can get approval much faster than banks. This is because their pool of money isn't as large as the big guys, as interest rates are usually their only source of income. They also don't do a detailed dive into how you've managed your payments in the past, aka your credit history. Since their main business is to give out loans, it's in their best interest that you get one. Of course, you would still have to give them some paperwork to prove that you're worth lending money to. Because of this, they would be more helpful for small emergencies like car maintenance or medical needs. Banks, however, can loan you up to the millions, but take longer to process your loan. They can do this because they have more capital from other services like savings accounts and fixed deposits. Their interest rates can also be much lower for longer tenure too, but their process is lengthier and more detailed. You also need to have a good credit history to prove that you're worth lending money to, so they would be more favorable when it comes to big commitments like buying a house or starting a business. Aside from why you need a loan, you should take a good look at your own cash flow first and make sure that you can actually afford to pay it back because taking a loan to go on vacation or buy a switch does not classify as an emergency because if you can't pay it back, that will be a problem. As we mentioned earlier, licensed money lenders are not allowed to hurt their borrowers, but they can take them to court. Unfortunately, it's a pretty lengthy and draining process for them, and many struggle to get their money back, much less make a profit when this happens. That's where the security comes in, where money lenders will keep some ownership and transfer forms of your assets until you pay them back. For banks, they can charge higher fees, meaning extra payments plus your interest. Well, of course, for the banking, they have their own recovery team as well. So if the borrower has the current banking facility, they may actually increase their bank account to repay the loan or take legal action against you. Look at this case in 2019, where London Biscuits was sued by RHB Bank for owing them around 22 million ringgit. It goes to show that being in bigger debt than where you started out before the loan will probably bring you more problems in the future because this also hurts your credit score. Be sure to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, leave us a comment about what other topics you'd like us to take a look into.